Hello, CYC viewers, and welcome to another episode of Respect Yourself. I'm Joseph Hanna. These are my hosts, Parthenia Mararios, Gina Shenuda, and Mohib Basili. And today, before we get into our topic, I want to apologize to Tansemia because we might have erred on the side of negativity. There could be little feminists, too. <laughs> They're good. Little <laughs> semis are good. All semis out there. I, I also apologize. want to apologize to my parents because of the beating I got. They do not speak in an accent at all. Anyways, moving back to our topic, last week we talked about being obedient to the parents and we had a verse about being obedient. But this week we want to move on to the other side. What about the relationship between the parent and the child from the child's perspective? Because like you said when we were off air, a lot of people have great parents, but at the same time some people don't. And those children are unfortunately treated a little bit differently. So I want to get into a verse, usually we do it at the beginning, usually we do it at the end, but today I'm just going to go into it right away. And this is from Ephesians 6 and it's following the verse we said last time. And fathers, do not provoke your children to wrath, but bring them up in the training and admonition of the Lord. And that's from Ephesians 6, 4. So what do you guys think about that? It's interesting. I, oftentimes we don't hear the Bible say, like, parents, take care of your children. Like, we hear it in Proverbs, we hear it in Psalms. Don't we hear provoke it, your children. Don't that's, provoke that's, 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 to yeah, wrath. Yeah, that's kind of, like, that's, very, you that's know? huge. And you know what? We don't hear that. You know, you rarely hear a Buddha saying... A Buddha, get on that. Please. Yeah, you rarely hear a Buddha. Well, you do hear them. They do say it. It's not as commonly it heard. More. But um, but it comes across in Sunday school a lot. I've noticed. Like we always we always teach children. You know, I teach grade six, and it always comes up every year. It's in a lesson somewhere. You know, as you tell the kids, because we say, you know, you have to be obedient to your parents. But remember, your parents are also responsible to you, just as you are responsible to them. And I think that's very very important. And I'm glad you got to it. And I think it merits a whole episode. So I'm glad we're going to talk about it today Thanks because yeah, it's just as important. So let me I guys ask you this. Oftentimes we say that our parents don't listen to us and we say that they don't understand us and sometimes we exaggerate it but what happens when it's true because a lot of the time parents don't understand us they don't know what's going on in our lives and they don't respect us enough to know that what we're doing is actually right and they don't trust us so what do we do then how do we get that trust how do we talk to them well i think it's important that's when i think it's really important to seek your father yeah. of confession Thank you. That's good. yeah because you know what there needs to be someone who's older who they could talk to because sometimes as much as our parents are great and our Egyptian community has a lot of great part, a lot of it too, it deals with pride. And the mm -hmm. pride always gets in the way. And if not, yeah. it doesn't have to be just Coptic Egyptians. It could be really any parent. Any you can parent. find them across nations, borders, whatever. The world. The, the world, world is right. I think the thing is, it, it's, it works as, as it's defined roles. Uh, a lot of parents enter it as, you know, this is my job. It, they treat it like a job. Yeah. And it is yeah, a job on, in many things. And, and, you know, the kids are their employees. And they have to make sure that the kids are, in, you know, in shape grow. and they're good to go. Yeah. So it's a reflection on themselves as well. The parents, you know, the kids can't just do whatever they have to do. Yeah. And, you know, it's important to talk to that a lot of parents see themselves in their children and the mistakes that they did and things like that. They don't want their kids to go through the same thing. So they don't want it to be, you know, it's not... And sometimes they go a little yeah. too forceful. Yeah. That you yeah. miss the message. But that's the thing. I think sometimes, but that's another thing that parents need to understand. We have to make those mistakes sometimes to learn for ourselves. Um, whether it's in our personality or just in our nature. Like, man needs, man needs to learn from mistakes. Sure, we might not always learn from our mistakes. But, yeah, as much as parents are trying to protect us, they also would need to come to that understanding, come to terms with the fact that trust. Well, they they need yeah they back to trust. again it's back to trust right. They trust. They need to trust that they've done a good job, and it's up to us to sometimes we'll have to make a mistake, but to learn from that mistake and do it on our own. Like, That's right. And this right? isn't this isn't something that is overnight. Yeah. This is why we talk it, about yeah. trust communication from the beginning. Yeah. This is a slow process, and mind you, you got to prove yourself worthy. Yeah. Right. Like if you're a kid oh, and you're yeah. doing a whole lot of crazy, then I'm everywhere. not. Don't listen to this episode. You're crazy. You gotta, I'm just, I'm just kidding. You gotta, you know, warrant that kind of trust because it's, you, you shouldn't just wake up with it. I yeah. mean, you gotta earn it slowly, slowly. But once you've earned it, you should be able to do. But again, it goes things. back to like, also think of like a lot of students or kids who go off to university. Uh, yeah. That's huge. Right? Yeah. And that's a big struggle for a and lot of been, parents to expect. It's a big expect. change, a fast change. And, and yeah. Binti, timshi, tiskun, <laughs> Like, you know, they yeah. hope. And our parents are very Even animated. Even if they're looking for five other girls or six other girls, but or it's like, yeah. yeah. I don't Even know about you guys. Boys. My parents yeah. wanted me out. They're like, they're they're nice bye -bye. Let's, let's talk about a little bit about confession and why yeah, it plays for bringing back to that. a father of confession and yeah. why it really plays a big role in the parents' role. Yeah, yeah. 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 A big role. Because you could see your father of a confession as like a school guidance teacher yeah. or a therapist because he's not there to just accept. And he's your got no sins. bias. No. Remember, and he's not biased. 
you or your either side. He's yeah, I mean, yeah. in a lot no. of scenarios, they have kids of their own. Yeah, yeah. So they've gone through it or awesome. are going through it. Like, no, yeah, that's right. yeah. That's and they can give you those powerful verses because sometimes all you need is one verse. Yeah. That can push you through, and it's hard to remember them. But once you get a hang of yeah. it, it helps. And only a father of confession can bring you to that point. And it's hard to seek God when things are so rough. Yeah, that's right. Right at home, because some people have like a rough situations. We all have yeah. like our own stories. No one has an easy cross. But God, remember this also for kids who have difficult crosses or not difficult crosses. God gave you a cross because He has faith and trusts you to carry it. Absolutely. And you can carry it. If and God has given it to you, then you can do yeah. it. Absolutely. And, and in a way, you have a blessing. Yeah. Here's where yeah. the issue is. Because of pride, you're right, and a lot of parents and kids, and you know, same thing. A lot of parents, like I've heard stories, obviously, and I'm sure a lot of us have, yeah. where the parents would be offended if a priest randomly shows up in their house or calls them about their kid. Because See, again, I'm, they feel like... I'm really like sad to hear that because I was going to say the best thing about a priest is the parents respect them and the parents should respect they're them. They're supposed the priest, to. But the voice to. of the Holy Spirit, right? And that's why, because it's an unbiased opinion. So when we feel, we feel, oh my gosh, this is no fair. I stand no chance against my parents. I'm going to go to Abuna. Abuna right. is going to speak for me on my behalf, But that right? you would expect that but, in a normal situation. Yeah. Yeah. Parents was going to fear a priest. They wouldn't yeah. be doing what they're doing already right. to the child. Right. It's right. understandable in a normal parent-child relationship. Absolutely. But yeah. there are but, those extremes yeah. where they feel like, how could you be doing, like, you're talking about my kid. My this is my kid, which so is understandable. Yeah. I can it comes back to, again, the relationship with the priest. Because yeah, they say, are not absolutely. only, there's a reason why we call them fathers. Right? Yeah. They are like your father, a representation of your father in heaven They're on another earth. Father. They're another, yeah. They are another father. So yeah. don't don't fear that because your father on earth isn't what you expected or like you know, you compare stories all the time. Let's be honest. Girl talk in the washroom, you know what that's about. But we also know I know exactly I have no idea. <laughs> Why do you take so long? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They go in I, pairs. I don't know. <laughs> pairs. Anyways, and but father, but you're, you will, we are blessed in our community because we have more than one set of parents, right? Yeah. We have the church and we have our father of confession and Sony and counselors. Like, yeah. and there are young counselors. Sunday school servants, like Friday night servants. There's always someone servants. you can go to. There's always someone older than you, someone who's experienced what you've experienced, if not currently experiencing what you're going through. Um, and yeah, and sorry, just to, just on a side note, but father of confession, fathers of confession, how awesome they are to have them. We don't have to pay for shrinks and psychiatrists and psychologists <laughs> and get referrals and wait for six months to see somebody. We have this like right available to us whoa, 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 right whoa, at whoa, church. Whoa. Right, you know what I mean? Pre they... service are free? <laughs> <laughs> well, Abuna, you and I gotta talk. <laughs> right? I don't know about um, that. <laughs> you know, and that's and, and and not only is this a regular shrink or like psychologist, someone who's gonna guide you, this is someone who's guided by the Holy Spirit. Absolutely. And that's the most important thing. At the end of the day, this person is guided by the Holy Spirit. And as long as they're, my father of confession always says to me, the Holy Bible is always open in front of me. He goes, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to say anything like bias. He goes, I have no interest in this. And he's, and that's what people have to remember, both parents and children, that they, they're responsible. They're responsible for you, and they're responsible in front of God. So why are we not trusting these people? Who are these parents that are not listening to Abuna? So listen to Abuna. <laughs> listen. Yeah. But also, to the kids, know that you are not alone. Yeah. That's that, important. that is something... Most important, you are not alone yeah. in this world. Yeah. You are not the only one that's experiencing whatever no. you're experiencing. No. Yeah. It may be rare, and yeah. other people might have not experienced it in that exact same yeah. way, but your experience is something to be learned. You might not understand why God has given you that at that moment, but you will experience His grace later on. And, and let's hope, reveal yeah. it to yeah. you. Let's hope it's just an issue or two and not, you know, this whole life war thing yeah. that you're going on. And if it is, maybe question yourself a little bit. Are the decisions I'm making a little irrational? If right. my parents are like this, then maybe I need to approach it a then, different yeah, way. Yeah, why are my parents like this? And you know what? You know? If your parents won't come to you, then go to them. You, if, if you yeah. start the communication yeah, line, if they're not going to start it. And you know, maybe sometimes we expect too much of our parents. Because yeah, we're raised in this society. We're raised in this generation. We're raised in this part of the world. Yeah. Influenced and they're by not. the media. Yeah, and we're very, we were talking about that before. And they're not. So you know what? And if anything, we should know better. We should know yeah. that this is how it is. So hi, we have this perspective. We should take advantage of that and then make the first move. We, it should be up to us to make the first move if the parents aren't doing it. And 
And I, and I don't, I can't imagine a parent who, you know, if their child goes up to them and says, you know, we need to talk about this. I'd really like to talk about this. Um, this is how this makes me feel. I don't see a parent like crazy enough. I'm, I'm sure there are some out there, and, yeah. and and that's sad, and that's where you get a Buna involved. Um, but I don't, I can't see what parent would just you say. You know what? No, there's, both, I didn't even both. think about this, but there's probably a big difference between kids that are. Like only children and yeah. people with oh, oh, that's, yeah. that's huge. Because you can yeah. learn from the experience of your siblings. And yeah. your siblings have gone through it first. If yeah. Either, right? yeah. Oh yeah. And sometimes yeah. because you're the first <laughs> child, yeah. the parents don't necessarily know what they're doing. How exactly. To handle the situation. And, yeah. yeah. But and that's sure. true. And and they they are equated a certain amount of like of course they can make mistakes. They're just humans yeah. too. Absolutely. But I think one very important thing that we've forgotten, guys, is and to go back to that point of Abuna. What does Abuna do? What makes him so special? He prays. Yeah. We too need to pray about the issue. You know, it's a we tool can't we get have. Through. Why don't we take advantage of it? Why not, right? Yeah. If we can't get through to our parents, why don't we ask, right? Yeah. And the Bible says, ask and receive. And it's something so small. You know, God, you know, please but we help me. Prayer parents. is not yeah. just for those big things. Good. Prayer right? is for everything. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. But it's yeah. hard to pray when you're in a tight situation like it's that. It's hard to remember to pray. Not, not just remember, but you're I like, why should I? You're hopeless. You're hopeless. You feel very hopeless. But those are the times. But those are the times. But that's but that's the test of your faith and your strength, right? So where and do we find that strength when, when, when it's not there? Where that's do we where you, go? That's where you go to Abuna. That's when you go to Abuna who helps you find that strength, who reminds you that, hey, you've got these great tools at your fingertips besides Abuna himself, you know, and that's, that's, that's why Abuna is so, so important. And, and that good, relationship yeah, with Abuna is important. The good important. thing with Abuna is... And again, it's that parental relationship. Like, that relationship with Abuna is also, like, similar to a parental relationship. So again, it's all... Yeah, most of Abunas won't sit there and be like, yeah. okay, read this Bible verse. Yeah. They're going to give you practical reasons yeah. what you should do approaches and you can talk to them you could be like okay tell my parents this or try not to tell them this and they can wage that like the, the priest has experience yeah. it's not like that's so he's important. just dressed in black Abuna's he's heard allowed. thousands of yeah priests. and he's not going to say and, the he's, one. And, the, yeah. and he'll pray for you at the end you know the um the prayer of absolution but and once the yeah. prays that everything you say is in confidentiality so there shouldn't be that fear of oh when i'm going to tell you this but please don't tell my parents mm. that doesn't even absolutely. need to be you know said I mean? we absolutely. have to trust that just use it as another voice yeah. no. and you know, and I'm sure you're discussing this with your friends, but, yeah. you know, if you discuss it with Abuna, why not? Another yeah. voice. Oh, definitely. Yeah. But I'm one just going to, sorry, Go ahead, just Gina. before Go you ahead. end off, I'm going to say this other thing of why media is influential of the parent yeah. and children. Mm -hmm. Because what you see in the media yeah. about a parent and child dynamic yeah. isn't natural. Is that realistic? Yeah. yeah. And if you're yeah. going to seek yeah. that for guidance, That's your, yeah. then you're even stu you're, stuck you're set further. up for disaster. Right? Yeah. So that's why it's also important to oh, seek it from a realistic TV. point you're of view. Right. But on TV, I don't see this. This is what the mummy always does or says. But yeah. Guys, that's TV. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, we have to remember yeah, to differentiate. Yeah. yeah. Okay, for guys. Sure. I want to wrap up the show, but I want to give. A, you know, not necessarily a piece of advice to the parents because I'm definitely not one to say that. <laughs> but I do want to say something to the parents out there that are watching. Sometimes it's really hard for your kids to come to you and to speak to you. Listen to them, not just passively, but actively. Hear what they're saying. Ask them questions about what they're saying to make sure that you understand. Paraphrase what they're saying. And if you don't necessarily agree with it and you know that this is something important to your son or daughter, take a moment, think about it, and get back to them. And who knows, you too should also be praying about it. So I'm just going to read the verse one more time because oftentimes we forget it. Yeah. Um, again, it comes from Ephesians 6. It's verse 4. Last time we talked about Ephesians 6, verse 1. So you can see the continuity. And fathers, do not provoke your children to wrath, but bring them up in the training and admonition of the Lord. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Remember, respect yourself.